Good morning, friends and family. Chaplain Joe here, April 27th. I'm going to get right to it. Jesus calling Sarah Young. Come to me with empty hands and an open heart, ready to receive abundant blessings. I know the depth and breadth of your neediness. Your life path has been difficult, draining you of strength. Come to me for nurture. Let me fill you up with my presence. I and you and you and me. My power flows most freely into weak ones aware of their need for me. Faltering steps of dependence are not a lack of faith. They are links to my presence. He gives strength to the weary and increases the power of the weak. Even youths grow tired and weary, and young men stumble and fall. But those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not be faint. Isaiah 40, 29 through 31. Um, I'm excited about this message this morning, and I'm late sharing this message this morning because I've been wrestling all morning long with it, and, and I want to get right into it. Very important point here. Come to me with empty hands and an open heart. First of all, Jesus Christ said that all issues of life flow from the heart. God also said that my people perish for lack of knowledge. So this message is for those unbelievers out there. God is asking you to open your heart because the issues of life flow from the heart. So when life beats you up, knocks you out, tears you up, hurts you, your heart becomes hard. It becomes hard and, and it's impenetrable. And then we become angry and, and upset and, and afraid and depressed. And, and we don't let anybody, we don't trust anybody anymore. We, we keep our hands up in defense and we guard against everyone. We're, we're, we close ourselves off. We close ourselves off to people and we close ourselves off to God. So that's why God is saying you need an open heart. That's why it's so important to know that when we invite Jesus Christ into our lives, we invite him into our heart. And what happens is he comes into our heart and he transforms our heart and he renews our mind. And by doing that, he removes the, the painful things in our life, that the, the ability to cripple us, the ability to keep us trapped and to keep us stuck, to keep us sad, to keep us afraid. And, and, and we perish because, you know, the church taught me a long time ago that I was a bad person. And then once I got away from the church thinking or the religious thinking, um, it, I'm not a bad person. I perish because I don't know. So that's why this message is for unbelievers. I'm letting you know that the issues of life flow from the heart. If your heart is closed to God, your heart is closed to others, then guess what? Or if your heart is especially closed to Jesus, he can't come and help you. That's why we invite him in and then his spirit becomes one with our spirit. That's what me, it means when he says, I and you and you and me. His spirit comes and his spirit comes and lives in your heart and he renews the heart. He renews the heart. And he transforms the heart and he renews the mind so that the things of the world can't hurt you anymore. Be encouraged today. Know that God loves you very much.